Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a surprise for my wife. So most of y'all know that I'm in law enforcement and unfortunately uh, sometimes you get people that show up at your house uh, wanting to uh, know about their cases or uh, especially in small rural areas and a lot of times we don't know who's actually showing up. We don't know who's coming over while we're gone. So I think it's very important that you know you do need a security system and my wife has been wanting one of those for a good while so with that being said yesterday I went and bought my wife uh, a set of cameras Arlo I don't know much about security cameras so we're gonna put these outside and see how they work out and if they work out uh, you know good outside we're gonna go ahead and purchase some and to put inside um, I think it's very important to have security cameras nowadays uh, especially with uh, everybody breaking into the houses here in Oklahoma uh, they basically legalize all drugs and we have seen an increase in crime that you would not believe I mean breaking in houses sexual assaults just all kinds of uh, crimes that has, has increased over the last year since the law has been in effect and um, I think it's very important that you protect your home while you're gone and from my understanding with these cameras when um, you're gone and if it does get a motion detection it sends you a message on your phone so I'm hoping that's how these things work so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's all inside of it so that's the box they come in so let's go ahead and open them up and see what's all inside neatly this is going to be actually the base for all four cameras um, I do think you can hold up to five cameras with this version we're going to go ahead and purchase another one if um, if they turn out to work really good uh, you can add more cameras to this I just don't know how many right yet I'm going to look into it um, looks like here's the batteries Oh wow, that's uh, here's the camera it looks like this is the magnet that will will stick to the back of it so you can move it wherever you need that that magnet's pretty pretty strong as well so it takes quite a bit to pull that apart um, but the, there's not really much to it um, other than going and hooking up the wires. Go ahead and get them all open here. And these are wireless. All four of these are wireless and uh, they're HD 1080p. Um, before we actually put these cameras up, I'm going to go ahead and sync them all to the base. Um, you do have to have Wi Fi. From my understanding to actually have this system it runs off the internet uh, you can also use it with your phone um, you can only have one user but you can add people to your your uh, trust list to allow them to view it like I can add my wife or uh, she can add you know uh, a friend or wh whoever she would like to add but uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, from here I'm going to go ahead and get the phone and we'll sync them together uh, I'm going to download mine to my phone so what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the zoom in here I'm going to go to the app store and then I'm going to go up here to the very top 
and top in Arlo. Got Arlo topped in. It's going to bring up the app. So it's going to be this top app, which I've already got it downloaded. So to download it, you'll click there. Um, it's a free app. And once it's downloaded, so we already got the cameras actually synced. We tested them out a little bit last night before we actually hang them up. Um, so you're going to go through here and at the very bottom, at the very bottom, once you upload the app, it's going to have a, a deal at the bottom. It says uh, add new device. So you'll click that. You want to go to the cameras. Go all the way to the bottom to Arlo. Once you have it there, you need to be sure that you already have it hooked up to uh, Wi-Fi. So after that, you'll push OK, and then you're you will start syncing your base together. So after you connect the base to your Wi-Fi and you sync all four cameras uh, to the actual app, you will be then be able to take them and go out and set them wherever you need to set them. You can set them within 300 feet of the actual base. Uh, so that should cover anywhere in the house. Uh, 300 feet is al almost 90, right at 100 yards. So Now they do have a newer version of the Arlo. Um, but with us just trying them out and starting, I decided to go with the, the uh, older version of it. And we'll see how it works. And uh, if it ain't good enough quality, we'll go ahead and upgrade to the Arlo 2. So we tested these out in the house last night, and uh, I was pretty impressed with the footage, especially if you haven't had cameras around your house, you don't have nothing to really compare it with. But uh, I do know, like I said, I work in law enforcement, and I do know I see a lot of Arlo's at a lot of houses that we go uh, to, and they seem to be happy with them, so that's the reason why I choose to purchase uh, Arlo. And so with all that being said, let's take them outside and see what kind of footage we can actually capture with it. Uh, they don't look like they're going to be that hard to actually hang up. One screw mounts down and then you got a magnet from there. So it looks pretty easy to actually set up. So if you have not yet, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our latest videos. Uh, this channel here contains a lot about our family. Uh, we, we build a lot of wood, wooden stuff like wooden flags. So uh, there's just no telling what we'll do on this channel. So. Thank you so much for watching this. Alright guys, so I've got the first camera that we're going to actually install outside. Um, like I showed you earlier, these are magnet. Uh, you can actually adjust them anywhere you want. So all you're going to have to install first is the actual mount. And then after that, you'll be good to go to go ahead and set it to where you want to adjust it. Man, this is going to be real easy to adjust. So I'm going to go ahead and take these over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it up right here at this corner so we can catch everything that's coming towards the door. Um, but I want it low enough so it ain't going to catch the traffic on the roadway. So as you see, the road isn't very far. So I don't want it to catch all the traffic going by. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put it up in this corner right here. And hopefully it don't. But we're going to mount the base first and then we'll put the camera up. Also inside the package when you purchase this, you will also it will also come with the uh, actual screws to mount them on the wall. All right, as you've seen, it didn't take much to mount that up. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera. We'll go ahead and put it up there. <clears throat> so what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to adjust it right now on the phone to the actual uh, layer that I want it to actually point so it don't get the traffic. Uh, after I get it set, we ought to be good to go. Okay, the second camera uh, that I'm going to put outside is going to go 
right up here in this corner I'm gonna have it pointing right at the unit where I actually back in that way I can see anything that comes to my unit or my personal vehicle so only thing different about this camera is I'm going to use an extension from the one I used on the porch was a magnet uh, the magnets I, I'm like impressed how strong they are but uh, after you put it up the extension you can go ahead and screw it in here at the bottom there's a place to screw it in right here at the bottom get it started and once you get it started in there you can uh, you can adjust it any direction that you want if it needs to go up or down so we'll get it hung up and we'll see how it works out All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the phone and actually pull it up and see if we need to adjust it anymore. See if we get it adjusted here. Looks like it needs to go down just a little bit. Uh, that way to put point a little bit uh, closer to the ground. So I'm going to turn around here and try to lower it just a little bit. It looks like we got it adjusted to where I want it that's what it's gonna look like um, I don't know if you can see it very well there I'll go ahead and go into the shop and actually zoom in here in a second that way you can see it's all live it's about two or three seconds behind but it, it is live so I'm gonna go ahead and take this into the shop and we'll, uh, we'll finish it up and then I'll show you some of the video footage all right guys that's gonna wrap it up I'll put the other two up here in just a little bit uh, there's nothing special about putting up the cameras um, here's here's the actual footage I had outside Let's see if you can see it a little bit better in here um, there it is it's got a really good picture so we'll keep them up for a little while and we'll see how they work out alright guys that's gonna wrap it up we hope you enjoyed the video if you're interested in purchase one of our flags or one of our shirts go to our website at rusticwoodwork.org you can order all different size shirts and flags on there. So if you have not yet, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you and God bless you.